We're all born thinking like entrepreneurs. Families and friends convince you not to be an entrepreneur. True entrepreneurs will just keep figuring it out. If you pull up your car outside of a mall, you open your trunk and you were selling something for a dollar and you sold 50 of them in three minutes, you close that trunk, you call me. Yeah. Because we're gonna sell those things out of every single mall, city, state, country, we're even gonna sell them on Mars if we can sell them that quick. Hi, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with entrepreneur Damon John. Damon, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How long do you give a good idea before you kind of cut bait? I mean, you know it's a viable thing. You, maybe you're passionate about it, but how long do you give it before you're just like, this isn't working, we got to give up and move on? Um, you know, if, if it's going from an incubation stage, it can take five, ten years because you're, you start thinking about it year one and year two and year three, you still are thinking about it and you're going, yeah. all right, this hasn't just gone away this needs to happen yeah um, and then you know you start to learn the business with it and it can take 10 years yeah if it's an opportunity where you're investing um, it can it probably is a three-year deal where you go we've done everything or I'm not interested in learning any more this it's 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 creating bigger challenges I'm losing more in other places that yeah. I have already created so I would say opportunities that come around um, every day I would put three to five years in it long-term opportunities that you're thinking about I would say 10 years so that works for you you've, you've got resources so the, some of the people that are watching this show you know they're they've got this startup they've, they're just bootstrapping what advice would you give to them about how long to give a worthy project before they give up. I mean, it's. I think it's something everyone struggles with. Yeah, and that's a big challenge. So I, I would say for them to have milestones and for them to set their goals. So if there's somebody that, uh, you know, they have a day job and they plan on putting in seven hours a week onto this side hustle job idea concept, you know, Put, make sure that, that compounds, and over the year, how much time will you put into it? And and at what stage would you like to see? Would you like to see the business grow from a thousand dollars a week to five or ten? But make sure it's affordable steps that you and and goals that you feel you can hit. And then you'll realize if you're willing to put one year, two years, or ten years into it. Uh, some people just want to do it because they want to be an entrepreneur and they want to change the world and they just want to see things change. They don't have to make money. That's what I was going to ask you. So, what are some of those? business milestones that you would recommend so obviously revenue is great you know when you've got sales and you've got demand and you're moving product that's great but maybe talk about some of those uh, tougher to measure metrics for those people who are still hanging on the tougher to measure metrics are basically I'm making fifty thousand dollars a year if I put two three hours of, of uh, work and time into this a week at the end of the year will I make a certain amount of money or at the end of the year Will I change somebody's life? It all depends on what are you in it for? Because yeah. many entrepreneurs are into things for social reasons yeah. as well. So um, you just really have to put a metric on what are you looking for. At the end of the day, you're the customer. Yeah. What are you going to get out of it?